a lot of EV powered by cordless drills actually works. Hey there, welcome to HSR Motors. Before we dive into today's wild and wacky automotive experiment, take a moment to hit that subscribe button and smash that like if you enjoy these crazy builds. And hey, if you appreciate the time and effort we put into bringing you content like this, don't forget to tap that super thanks button. It really helps keep this channel running and fuels even more awesome videos for you. Now, stick around because this one is going to blow your mind. Let's start with a question you've probably never asked yourself. How much horsepower does a single cordless drill produce? And what if you had 50 drills working together? The truth is, we may never get an exact answer, but what we do know is that it's apparently enough to move a full-size Lada, and that's all that really matters here. Pulling off a stunt this outrageous could only come from the brilliant, slightly mad minds over at Garage 54, a YouTube channel that has built a reputation for taking wild ideas and actually making them work. Most of the time, a while back, they put together an experimental power plant consisting entirely of cordless drills, and while that version was impressive, it needed some serious upgrades. This latest iteration, it's on another level. Engineering a drill-powered EV, one of the biggest challenges in the original build was simply mounting the drills securely. If you've ever tried to strap something heavy onto a metal frame using hose clamps, you probably know what happened next. Those clamps, while great for securing rubber hoses to pipes, were comically bad at holding bulky power drills in place. Every little bump and vibration shook them loose, making the setup unreliable. So, to keep everything firmly in position, the team at Garage 54 had to go back to the drawing board and create an entirely new mounting system. This time, instead of using makeshift fasteners, they fabricated custom metal brackets designed specifically to hold each drill securely. These brackets were then welded onto a sturdy frame, ensuring that none of the drills would shake loose mid-drive. But securing the drills was just the beginning. The next challenge? getting all 50 of them to work together in harmony. To make this happen, Garage 54 designed an intricate pulley system that allowed each drill to transfer its power through a series of linked gears. The end result? A power unit that looks eerily similar to a radial engine from a World War II bomber, except instead of roaring piston cylinders, you've got 50 cordless drills whirring away in unison, fitting the beast into a lotta. Now, as you can probably imagine, Cramming this Frankenstein-like contraption into an actual car wasn't exactly a plug-and-play job. Garage 54 decided to use the same Lada they had previously modified for their ridiculous V16 chainsaw-powered engine experiment, a car that had already been stretched to accommodate that bizarre setup. But even with the extra space, this new drill-powered monstrosity required even more modifications. The front end of the car had to be extended even further to make room for the enormous motor assembly. And because no over-the-top project is complete without a bit of flair, they figured, why not go all the way? So, they chopped the roof off, slapped on a fresh spiffy new paint job, and turned it into something that looks like it belongs in a mad scientist's laboratory rather than on the road. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Instead of using one central battery pack like a conventional EV, this lotter relies on 50 individual drill batteries, each one connected to its respective drill. If you're thinking, wait a second, isn't that a bit sketchy? Well, you'd be absolutely right. During the initial bench test, it didn't take long before sparks started flying as the system attempted to handle the massive electrical load. But Garage 54, being who they are, shrugged it off and pressed forward with the installation anyway. After all, if it's not sparking, melting, or catching fire at least once, is it really a Garage 54 project? How do you drive a drill-powered car? With the motor installed, it was time to figure out how to control it. Unlike a normal car, which uses a gas pedal to regulate power, this drill-powered Lada relies on something much simpler, a giant lever that acts as a massive circuit breaker. Here's how it works. Pushing the lever forward connects it to a metal plate, completing the circuit and sending power to all 50 drills at once. There's no gradual acceleration, it's either full power or nothing. During the first indoor test, things seemed to be working just fine until they weren't. The insane amount of current draw melted the wiring, bringing everything to a dramatic halt. But like any good mad scientists, the team didn't let that stop them. After some heavy-duty wiring upgrades, they rolled the car outside for another test, this time smoke-free. And while the setup boasts a theoretical combined torque output of 737 pound-feet, that doesn't necessarily mean it translates into blistering speed. 
In fact, despite all that torque, the Lada never goes faster than a walking pace. Why? Well, between friction, mechanical losses, and the sheer inefficiency of routing power through so many moving parts, there's just too much energy being lost in the process. But at the end of the day, it works, and that alone makes this project a massive success. What's next for the drill-powered Lada? If you thought this was the end of the experiment, think again. Garage 54 has already promised that they'll be conducting more tests in the future, which means this absurdly over-engineered creation is far from done. We can only hope they've got a stash of heavy gauge wiring on hand, because let's be honest, they're going to need it. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this wild experiment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to HSR Motors so you never miss out on more insane builds like this. If you really love the content, consider hitting that super thanks button to help us keep bringing you even crazier automotive experiments. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.